Hey everybody, welcome back to the Risky Channel. I'm Riley and this is Parker. And today is a special day because we have his 2014 Superjet here and we're gonna talk all about reinforcement. So Parker brought his ski in here, already prepped and ready for reinforcement. He actually cut out the entire tray because we're gonna widen the tray. It's gonna match our other super jets. This is what I want my tray to look like when we're done, and it's about 21 inches wide. First, I cut it all out and dug out most of the foam due to it being waterlogged, and then I sanded the entire thing. So in the engine compartment, you can see that he's sanded every surface so the glass will adhere to it, and he's covered up all the threads with masking tape to protect them from the epoxy. Yeah, so it's a ton of work to do all of this, but it's a lot easier to do it before the hole's actually broken. The Super is a great platform, but if you're gonna ride it in heavy surf, you really need to make it just a little bit thicker. Basically, the bottom of the ski and the top of the ski are glued together, and that's the only thing that's holding them together. So we're gonna fiberglass the two together, top to bottom, on the front of the ski, the back of the ski, basically everywhere around the whole bond line. All right, let's get this thing going. So we used to cut around all these motor mounts and all the inserts individually, but Jared used the laser to design and cut this out perfectly. Yeah, imagine having to cut all this by hand. It's a real pain in the ass. For this project, we are using epoxy resin, which is very strong and durable for this application. We're using a fast cure as well, because we're in the Pacific Northwest. Jared even made like a spreadsheet where he calculated the square footage of each piece and made it so everything is already predetermined on how much epoxy he's mixing for every part of the ski. And it helps because this stuff is pretty expensive. For all the materials in this project, check down in the description. I'm gonna detail everything as best I can so you guys can go off of that. We're gonna start off by doing the bottom of the ski and we're gonna start off at the front. So underneath the water box, we got this piece. We're mixing up some uh, resin here. Parker's cleaning out the hole to make sure there's no dust or anything. So this thing's gonna go together really quick. We start out with a layer of 1708 biaxial mat, and then we finish it off with six ounce cloth. The top layer is always a little bit bigger than the bottom layer, that way you get a full adhesion all the way across. So we like to like use black pigment in our resin. It makes it look like carbon fiber when you're done. First step, you want to wet out the ski with epoxy resin. Yeah, the reason for this being because if you just lay that mat right on there, you're going to have some dry voids. The number one thing you don't want is air underneath your fiberglass between the hole. Okay, got it. All right, holes are to the left, so take this guy here now. First hole there. Second hole there. Right the 17's on the bottom, six is on top. Essentially, after you lay it down, you're just looking to see if there's any air voids that need to be taken out. That sheet looks like it's laid in very nicely. Now we're gonna lay the bottom deck.
gonna slowly hand me the hole. We gotta make sure that, yep, it's the right orientation, okay. So I'm just gonna kind of plop it in here a little bit. With those holes. That hole kind of goes right there. Watch out. <laughs> okay, now. I'm gonna try to get this in here without it. Work from the middle. And try to get the fibers to line up square. You can see how you can twist them and pull them to get them square. Yeah, these foam brushes are good to use because they don't shed any of the hairs like those other brushes do. When you're doing the six ounce, oh, yeah. you don't want to have any brush hairs ruining the nice finish that you're trying to get. We got the bottom all glassed in, fully reinforced. The next step is we're going to do the side. We're going to do both the engine bay and in the tray at the same time because it's laying on its side and we're going to use gravity to help us. So we're gonna glass from here to there on the whole side. We're gonna come over here and do the same thing. So your bottom deck and your top deck are gonna be joined. Dude, look at that. Go, 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 go. All right. Put some thickener in the seam. All right. I like this job. I just smear the black around. Jared just got the six ounce layer on top of the side to finish it off. And he's just making the final touches on the edges to make sure everything lays down really nice and tight. You don't want any air bubbles or it'll just like peel right off. So he's just going through really carefully on everything. We just got done glassing the port side. Now we're gonna flip it over and glass the starboard side. That way gravity works by your side. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we reinforce the bottom of the ski, the two sides underneath the handle pole and the bulkhead. And now we're gonna flip the ski over. We're gonna tie it together with the band-aid piece at the nose of the ski. How are you going to film that? Now you've seen us reinforce a super jet. We got the sides, the bottom. We did the nose, under the hand pull bracket. 
the back of the ski. This thing is ready for anything. So next steps we're gonna do is drill out all the holes that we filled. We gotta put an engine and drivetrain in this thing. Oh, and you probably want to stand in the tray, so we're gonna have to do something about this giant hole. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I must ask you a question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? 10. <laughs> we'll get another video on our next steps in this build. It's going to be an awesome ski when we're done, so stay tuned. <laughs>